It's crazy. Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're in the garage this evening getting ready to head out surf fishing tomorrow morning. Sorry if it's a little noisy, got the AC running in here. It is like 5,000 degrees outside. It hasn't rained, and seriously it feels like two months. I don't really know what's going on. I don't know if it's raining where y'all are, if it's hot, it's crap where y'all are. But it was seriously like 105 degrees, said it felt like 115. Absolutely ridiculous. We do have a tropical storm somewhere down there that's supposed to be coming up into the Gulf. It's not supposed to hit our area, but hopefully it'll maybe at least bring some rain. We need some rain. We need things to cool down a little bit because fishing has been difficult. <clears throat> but we're going out to hit the beach tomorrow, going after some giants. I just want to show you all real quick what we're going to be set up with. And so if you are looking to get into land-based shark fishing, especially casting out from the beach, I'm going to show you what I use. That way y'all can pick it up too if you're in the market for it. I'm going to have two setups and they're very, very similar. Both of them are on 11 foot Ninja Dagger rods. Um, now these were custom made by Frisky Fins, but this is basically the exact same thing. It's uh, just different colors. He put my logo and stuff on there, but this is the 11 foot Ninja Dagger. I'm gonna have a link down below if you wanna pick one up. The 12 foot works really good as well. Um, the 11 is just what I had made. And so that's what I got working with now. And then I got the Saragossa 14,000 on here. And I got it loaded down with 50 pound spider wire. And then from there, I got it down to a shark rig here. Now these shark rigs here are actually made by Yakking with Jack, powered by Frisky Fin. So this is something that they're working on together. It's not on the market yet, but probably will be soon. And as soon as they are, I'm gonna try to carry them at, uh, at the store. But we do have some other shark rigs pre-rigged that I'll have linked down below that we do already have in the store, which is very, very similar. All right, so starting with the hook, we got a 12 watt circle hook. And then from there, we go on to about two foot worth of 200 pound cable. Now I do like the cable opposed to wire because the cable is not gonna get pinched, not gonna get twisted up as bad. Um, this has a little bit more movement, whereas the cable, um, if it gets um, pinched or anything like that, it's gonna kind of lose its shape a little bit. So I prefer the cable over the heavy wire. And from there, we go down to a big old swivel. I don't know the exact size of it, but. Uh, Plenty for what you need for land-based shark fishing. And then from there we go to what looks like about three and a half, four foot of 400 pound mono. Now this heavy mono, what you want it for, this, the cable is for a bite leader. So that shark comes up and bites it, uh, doesn't bite through. And then you have the mono on there. That way when that shark swim around thrashing its tail, that it does not hit your braid. Cause as soon as that tail hits the braid, that's when you end up getting cut off. Those shark skin is like sandpaper, uh, so it doesn't take much to cut through your braid. So this is more of like a shock leader, as well as to help with the abrasion from the skin of the shark. So that is setup number one. Setup number two is basically the exact same thing. Same rod, same shark rig. And then uh, this is the 13 Fishing AL13 6.0. It's a little small for what most people are gonna want for land-based shark fishing. I've just been testing it out, kind of putting it through the ringer, see how much, see how well it'll hold up um, around salt water and fishing the beach and everything. And so far, it's been holding up pretty good. Caught a few sharks on it already, which y'all may have seen. Um, it's a pretty good reels. I got a couple different sizes of them. And uh, like I said, we're just kind of testing them out, seeing if something we want to carry in the store. But outside of the reel, this setup is the exact same. So I'm gonna have all this stuff linked down below. If y'all are interested in doing some cast out shark fishing from the beach, uh, we got everything you need here at Beach Bum Outdoors and uh, you can pick it up online or in store if you're coming down here on vacation. This time of year, all throughout the summer is really perfect for casting out baits. Um, even as we get into the winter, we have a lot of sharks kind of hanging around and it's super fun to catch. Everybody loves coming down on vacation, catching a big old fish. So that's what we're gonna do in the morning. We're gonna head out in the morning, meet up with Yak and with Jack, taking Kelton with me, maybe a couple other buddies. We're gonna try to use a drone to fly out our baits and see how it works. So it should be interesting, but I'll catch you in the morning out on the beach. Let's go. All right, y'all, I got my shark rig here with the ladyfish head. We're gonna let Jack with his possible new toy fly it out for me. We're uh, still trying to work out a deal for him to get that drone. <laughs> Somebody sent me that like a year and a half ago or something. I've never used it. 
I don't do a ton of shark fishing. Most of the time I just cast it out. So we're letting Jack play with it. See what all he's got to offer. What's really cool. Press this button right here. It opens up that little door right here if you want to look at it. Oh. You just attach that swivel? Yeah, you gotta press that button. Which one? This Same one? Boat, yeah. Press it one more time. Nope, down, down, down. Nope. Is it closed? Nope, press it. There you go. Right. Right. You kind of lay the speed around. Right. If you do it a little bit wash and they kick a little sand on the leader, so when it picks up, it doesn't pick up the braid with it. Smart, that's smart. And I don't think about that either. Is your jack loose enough? Make sure yeah, super loose. It is around the tip of hair. Just the tip, yeah. Just the tip. That's crazy. And that thing can lift up to four pounds and send these baits out there. Yeah. Watch out for all the pelicans. Alright, you think right there is good enough? You can go a little farther. Well, let's go a little bit further. Spin that thing. Oh, God. Got that thing in there? Splash. Nice. Alright. Tighten this drag down just a little bit. Not a lot. We still want a loose drag when we start fishing like this. So we can hook yourself up down right now. That thing is pretty dang sweet. All right, we're gonna rig up a second shark rig. I just got a piece of frozen Spanish mackerel here. I'm just gonna toss this one out in front of the sandbar. A lot of times we do have some sharks cruising in close. But just in case we do, we'll have a close bait and a far bait. Give us some options here today. Double ladyfish. We'll take those for some shark bait. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Can you hold it? Yeah, take them over there to Jack's cooler. You got him, buddy? Grab him. Nice. What do you got? Little, little hardtail. Blue runner. Nice catch, dude. These ladyfish like this are really good shark bait out here, so we're gonna save this guy. Just in case we need some more. You just got eight, but you got eight. I think he dropped it. Come back and get it. Alright, he came back for it. <laughs> See if he'll take it again this time. Maybe not. Tighten it. It's on. Alright, third time's a charm. Like, oh, it's cool. I would like barely it taking it. Yeah, and tighten drag and put both uh close to it. I'm gonna drop it. It's there. Oh dang. That was my bad there. Oh, he might be swimming in. He might be swimming in. Dang it. Guys, it had to be a small one. All right, we're about to put the drone and this reel to the test, dropping a Bonita head. See if we got any big ones hanging out here. What do you think, Jack? Big bait, big fish? You wanted a tiger on spinning gear. We're about to get dumped if that thing gets ate. This on. This on. Let's go. Oh, he's jumping. He's jumping. Big shark on the ladyfish here, y'all. Shark, buddy. Oh, no. Take it off. No, he's still on there. He's jumping like crazy. Trying not to tangle this other rod. I think we're over. <laughs> I know. I didn't have to lower it down like Jack. This lady fish is money bait out here, y'all. Oh, he did the same thing yours did. He jumped and then he like ran straight in. I was like, oh crap. Thank you. Thank you. Back over. Oh. 
big old shark. I mean, he smoked this thing. I'm using that uh, Swell Pro drone to fly these baits out, getting them way out there. That thing's money out here. On the old Pen Slammer 8500. Ninja Dagger 12 foot rod. All this stuff I got at Beach Realm Outdoors if you're interested in some land-based shark fishing. Let me get them a little bit closer and then you can help me, all right? Look at all that bait jumping. That shark was coming up close to the bar, went through a big school of bait and bait was just blowing up everywhere running from that shark. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Until he gets to that sandbar. Once those sharks feel that sand rub up on their belly, they don't like that. They usually run out again. So I have to run back over this way. We're over the first one. Under the second one. It's a heavy fish, y'all. There were some at the beginning. He's just like cruising now. Trying to see if we can keep him away from that guy again. All right, you want help? Can I get in here? All right, so we gotta, Why are you we gotta reel down, it? pump up. Why are you holding it too? Come on. Reel down, reel down, reel down, reel down, fast, 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 fast. You gotta keep the line tight, gotta keep the line tight. You gotta reel fast, dude. Reel down, pull up. Pull up. All right, reel, 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 reel. Pull up. You wanna reel? Reel, 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 reel. All right, reel, 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 reel. There you go. Pull up. Reel down. No. All right, he's coming in now. No, this one's too heavy for you to hold by yourself. It almost pulled Jack over. You're about the same size, so. You're all about the same height. You're just a little heavier than These damn biting flies are tearing up my legs. All right, he's getting close, buddy. Is he over? Uh, come on. Step over, step over right here. Step over. Alright. Real? Come on, Bill. He's hard, ain't he, buddy? It's a big shark. Here, I'll hold the rod. You can use both hands if you want. Is it real? Can use both hands for real? Go, 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 go. Pull up. Don't grab that line. Don't grab that line. Reel down, reel down, reel down. All right, reel, 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 fast, 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 fast. If it gets slack, we got to make sure we keep tension on the line, all right? All right, reel down, reel, 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 reel. Uh, I don't know. You want to help me lead him? All right. Here. All right. Sorry, coming up here. We're gonna go grab the leader here. I finally get in the water and get all those dang flies off of me. He's wrapped up. He's wrapped up. Little bitty fella. All right, hang on, Kelton. All right, we gotta get the hook, Kelton. Give it to Jack. Let's get this hook out. That risky shark week, man. Oh, yeah. Woo. Hook out. All right. I don't like the ones I can turn around and bite my hand. I always tell people I'd rather mess with those 10, 11 foot sharks because they ain't going to whip around and get you. Those little ones will get you a little toe or something. Show you down that remora. Nice. That's a little remora that was on that shark. It's one of Kelton's favorite fish. You want to show him how it sticks to your arm? You want to stick it to my arm? Stick it to Mason's arm. 
Whoever does it, stick. Show them. Woo! That's what those remoras do. They stick down to the bottom of the sharks. Eat like the parasites and the scraps and stuff like that. But, oh, that was awesome. We're gonna go ahead and get another shark bait out. See if we can do that again. Always a good time out here on the beach. Yak with Jack. Trying to catch some big sharks. Let's go. Dang! <laughs> we just had gun. Blah. We just got done catching one. Already got another one on. On my new reel. Ooh. If y'all want to see this whole fight, make sure y'all go check out Yak with Jack's channel. Link down below. All right, y'all. What an awesome morning out there on the beach. Unfortunately, I only got the one shark, and it was not the giant I was after. But they, however, are still very fun to catch. This one was like thrashing and everything right when we hooked. It fought a lot harder and uh, definitely thought it was going to be bigger than what it actually was when we got it up to the beach. But all in all, still a really cool morning. Jack got a couple of sharks as well. So I'm going to link his channel down below if you want to go check out his video. Uh, see the ones he caught. He definitely caught the biggest one of the day. Helped get some of the kids on one as well. So go check out Jack's channel. Me and Jack ended up working out a deal. So I traded him that drone which can fly out those baits, which I've had for a while and I've never even used it. And uh, he gave me the old Daiwa Saltiga 20,000, as well as a 12 foot pin battalion rod and a custom made tuna popping rod. And so all in all, I think like price wise, if you were to compare the price, I think he got the best end of the deal. That drone is pretty expensive. Um, however, I've, like I said, I've had it for like a year. I've never even used it. The company sent it to me and uh yeah <laughs> but this reel is gonna be really good i'm gonna start using this for my land-based shark fishing and uh, have it on that 12 foot rod the 12 foot helps cast out a little bit further as well as cast some of those bigger baits and then uh, i'll also use it when we do some offshore stuff can use it for the tuna popping uh, we may possibly be going out of the country here very soon and uh, got some really cool things that we can do if the trip pans out and this baby would definitely come in handy down there but I'm gonna let y'all know about that if the details work out but uh, y'all comment down below is a Daiwa Saltiga 20k and a couple rods of fair trade for that drone but really cool to be able to fly baits out he shark fishes a lot more and I think it left up to four pounds so we did send out the one Benita head um, but this winter when they get a lot of tiger sharks and duskies and stuff he's gonna be able to fly out some four pound baits drop them for those big fish and uh, so really interested to see those videos he's gonna be putting out Make sure y'all go subscribe to him to see that land-based shark fishing stuff. But uh, yeah, pretty excited. This is definitely the most expensive reel I have ever owned now. And uh, looking forward to putting it to the test, catching some giants. But guys, again, everything I have is gonna be linked down below in the description. If you want a Saltiga, we got them. Go check them out. I uh, appreciate it, guys. I'll catch y'all in the next one.